Hey everybody, welcome back to Durban's Bourbon. I'm Joe. And I'm Josh. This is another cocktail pre-made review coming at you. This is from High West Distillery. This is their barrel aged old fashioned. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't like an old fashioned? People that suck. If they're made properly. If they're made not well, they are horrible. I mean, horrible. Yeah, I, I bet you have a story. I do. The wife and I <clears throat> went to Utah on a family vacation. We picked this up at the distillery. We stayed in Park City, Utah, where High West has their distillery. As we all know, Utah's world-renowned for their booze. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go figure. Not really. But, but High West is delicious. But High West is a great product. So we stayed at a very posh hotel. We decided to go down to the bar and have some drinks. As you do on vacation? Correct. And I'm like, I have to see what other people's old fashions are. You pay more for them, 15 to 20 bucks for an old fashioned when you can make it for literally pennies on the dollar. It's ridiculous. But I like to try them. So we go to the bar <clears throat> in the hotel. The guy makes my old fashioned. I go, I'll have an old fashioned. Seventeen dollars. What kind of whiskey they use? High re High West. Oh, okay. So they used High West rye. I'm like, okay, you're you're using a good rye. Decent, yeah. The guy, I literally watch him. He puts the glass up there, throws some ice in there. Takes that in Utah because of the particular religious Oz. comment. Uh, yeah, the religious world that they're in mm -hmm. they have a pre-measured thing it's an electronic device it's on the end of every bottle oh yeah that when you tip it up it pre-measures an exact amount no more no less and it shuts it off so it's like and then that's an ounce and a half and he puts it down then this clown continues on and grabs angostura bitters in an old-fashioned yes yeah Two, three dashes? No. Seven to ten. Ugh. And then he puts it down. I'm like, oh my gosh. Any water? Yeah. A spritz of that. Any simple syrup? No. I will give him credit. He used Luxardo cherries. He took a bar spoon, scooped a cherry out, and went, and that was it. No simple syrup, no nothing. Didn't even stir it. He did put a lemon wedge and an orange wedge. He went, and he threw it in there. That was it. And he handed it to me. Sounds terrible. It was the worst old-fashioned I've ever had in my life. I choked it down because it cost so much, and I got an, a Blue Moon beer to go with it yeah. so I could take a swig of it and then drink the beer to get yeah, it down. It's like doing a shot. It was the worst old-fashioned <laughs> ever. I was never more angry at that moment in life. I'm Bad, like, man, I wanted to, I wanted, that. I wanted to beat him to death with the glass. I'm sure you did. It was terrible. So, <laughs> pay attention to how they make your old fashioned. Some do a good job, mm -hmm. and some just don't care. That's why I typically don't get cocktails. I know. I just because I know I can make them better. Absolutely. Or you can make them better. Absolutely. Yeah. So, a little fun story from our vacation. Stress went through the roof. We did have a nice old fashioned later at the distillery in Park City they from make High good, West. Yeah, they make good old fashioned. Their old fashioned was money. The guy's like, it's not even listed on their That's crazy. Uh, recipe, on their uh, menu. I'm like, I don't see an old fashioned on your menu. And he's like, the he's guy like, was amazing. And he's <laughs> like, like <laughs> bro, we make like 10,000 a year. Wow. We don't need to put it on the menu anymore. An old fashioned from High West is just a standard. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll have that then, which was amazing. So I digress. High West Distillery, it's aged three months in a old rye old barrel. Rye barrel. After they build the the old fashioned, right. 
the entire cocktail is made, and then they dump it in a barrel and age it for three months. Right. And then rye barrel. All you do is just pour it on an ice ball and garnish with a lemon and orange twist, and that's yep. it. And see how it turns out. Yeah, so we're going to... So, on ice... It smells like an old-fashioned. Oh, it sure does. It sure does. That's right. Ooh, that's nice. It's refreshing. Yeah. I like it. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers everybody. That's not bad. That's actually pretty hot. good. Is yours hot? No. I've got a heavy lemon and orange influence. Yeah, for sure. Because we did use fresh orange and fresh lemon mm. uh, peel. Uh, the proof on this is 86. Is that correct? Correct. 86 proof, so it's got a decent proof point. 43% alcohol. Yeah, a decent proof point. Um, no. Was it 86? No, I think it's 70. Uh oh. Stand by. It gonna... is 86. You're right. No, you... Okay. You right. You right. When you write, you write. No. If I can get that straight. Is that straight? No. Oh, here we not go. Not at all. It's straight to Because I can see it. Yeah, not at all straight. <sighs> we battle just... with this. Every video. That's straight. Perfect. Right? That is straight. Yep. It's a, it's a real struggle. <laughs> it is. It's real world problems. Yeah. Um, first world man. problems. <laughs> yeah. First world problems. I can't get this world. very expensive bottle of whiskey <laughs> to, to look at you up. correctly. Right. Because it's important for y'all to see it. Yeah. I like it. Price is under $30 kind of like, for the it's barrel. It's not sweet. No. It's, no, it's, it's not, not a heavy, sweet and old fashioned. Maybe because no, of the rye? Maybe. And they use just their standard rye. I bet rye. that's why you get the lemon, too. Yeah, because the rye and lemon goes well together. But the orange kind of rounds it out. And they just make a standard old-fashioned yeah. with uh, Angostura bitters, simple syrup. What they didn't type say of... Angostura. It just says... Um, it says... Uh... Aromatic bitters. Oh, so, so I wonder... they might use their own bitters. Yeah, yeah maybe. Which, at the distillery, I think I saw that they sell their own bitters. So they may make their own bitters. So it's one part whiskey, half part Demerara simple syrup. Okay. And then one dash of aromatic bitters. Ooh, see, one dash. And then, <laughs> not nine. You should show that bartender this. Gosh. <laughs> not nine. It should be just Nine flogged. times. It was horrific. I'm glad you could let shit go, though. That's just nice. You know, it's like you had a bad drink. And you let it go. It doesn't bother you anymore. Yeah. So that's cool. You got, got that, that going, going for you. Yeah. Which is nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, anyways, a, it's a super good. If you guys can find dishes. this stuff, I'd pick it up. Yeah. Especially if you don't like to make your own cocktail. That's right. great. You can oh, fool that's... some folks and be like, ah, right. Right. I made this Right. You could go down there you. and make noises and yeah. stuff in the bar <laughs> Shake and stuff. And stuff and it's really good. Yeah. Just like good. their Manhattan. Yeah. Their barrel aged barrel finished Manhattan. Very good. Another amazing cocktail from High West, pre made. I think I'm gonna go out I'm gonna go out on my own here. I'm gonna go out on a ledge. Ooh. I like their Manhattan better. If I were to make my own Manhattan and my own old fashioned, I'd rather have my and this is super good, but I'd rather have my own old fashioned and then their Manhattan. That makes sense. You know, I I, I agree think their with Manhattan you. was so good. I agree with you because the Manhattan was finished in a and, uh, rye maybe the, barrel. Maybe the perfect amount of booze yeah. and vermouth yeah. and yeah. rye barrel. I'll, but I'll, this is I'll give you that. Very, it's very good. But I feel like I could. Why? I don't know because I just you can do a little more than old fashioned too. You, you can. can make it your own. You can make a smoked one. Right. And just do yeah. more stuff with it. But that Manhattan, which is. This bottle here, which we have a review, y'all probably just saw it. Yeah. Um, if you're following the channel, and thumbs subscribing. up and subscribe. Um, it was really good. Yeah. I mean, it was it was amazing. I would agree with you. So anyway. I would take the Manhattan over the old fashioned as far as a pre made cocktail. Correct. Not to discredit this no, at all. Delicious. It is an um, it's a very well made old fashioned. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, without think, all the work. Even if you didn't put the lemon and lime rind sure. in it, I think it'd be just it, fine. It would be okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Pour it in like a pitcher and take it outside and then yeah. see what happens. You'd need a whole bunch of those bottles <laughs> at 30 bucks a pop. Oh, that's true. Might so, be a little pricey. Yeah, you'd have to charge admission for that party. 
But yeah. Yeah, it's good. I'd Decent, it. old fashioned, made from High West Distillery, aged in rye casks, three months. Three months. Decent proof, add a small amount, orange and lemon peel. It's really a no, no fuss, old fashioned. You don't yeah. have to build it yourself. It's got some sp- kick to it. Yeah, like it's it's a good. Yeah, I think the proof is probably perfect. Yeah, I agree. I would I would recommend it. Heck yeah, yeah. If you can find it in your area, I would definitely pick it up and yeah. add it to your bar. If you don't feel like having an old fashioned, it's an easy easy cocktail to have right and we very will minimal work at some point do a review of this and a homemade one just yes to see with all the yes. same ingredients we'll use a rye yeah we may not use high west rye unless i don't have high west rye in my I, bar I do. but josh does so maybe if I we think. do it at his house or my house we'll we'll yeah. we'll use we'll try to use similar products demerara sugar do makes one a splash difference. of the bitters yep yep yeah. and try and Try and mimic it without the barrel age and see if it makes a difference. Oh, my oh, goodness. Good grief. Okay. Well, let's I guess wrap that this, this video. <laughs> As always, the wife just got home. Yeah. Hit our light. Yeah, she almost so killed herself. Yep. As always, enjoy your whiskeys and bourbons. And, and what do you like? like. <laughs> Cheers. Everybody. Cheers.